Hi everyone, welcome back to Lina Libra Loca. It's the first video of the new year and it is going to be my beauty favorites of 2018. Mainly skincare but with two makeup items thrown in at the end. If you're new here, hi, my name is Anne and I'm passionate about sharing beauty tips and tricks for people with more mature skin. If if you enjoy what you see, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. And now we're going to go right in. I'm going to show you the products in the way that I would actually apply them and start with treatments first. And I have to mention the Cartier Clay Mask. I did not necessarily discover them in 2018. I have been using them for a long time, but I talked about them first in 2018, so I thought this would count. These are basic clay masks. They're cheap. You can get them in France at the pharmacy. And they have three different kinds for sensible, for dry and for oily skin, which I, I put my skin. I can use all of them. They are great clay mask and they are cheap as chips. Second one, which has a hair on it tonight, is the Indie Lee Blemish Lotion. Even though my skin is quite acne prone and I suffer from a lot of blemishes, I never actually tried a spot treatment with dedicated one before and this one contains zinc, alcohol, salicylic acid, everything that is going to zap the seed and you dip in a q-tip and apply the dots on your face and look totally crazy but it works. The zit will of course vanish overnight, at least not if you have these deep set hormonal ones like I do, but it helps reduce the inflammation and bring it to the head easier, which sounds kind of gross. Third one, Dr. Dennis Gore's Ferulic Acid plus Retinol Brightening Solution. This is one of the gentlest retinols that I have ever tried. I could use it without problems every day, no irritation. The ferulic acid enhances the power of the retinol because it's another antioxidant. And what's not claimed on there, it contains alpha albutene, which is a precursor of hydroquinone and is great at brightening. And I could really see a difference in my scarring. So despite it being pricey, totally see myself with purchasing this one. Then, more affordable, the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Solution. I have used this one from February 2018. This is, I think, my second bottle. As I said, I have blemish-prone, acne-prone skin, so I need a BHA. I love salicylic acid for that. I use it twice a week. It works perfectly fine. I can't compare it to the one by Paula's Choice, which everyone loves, and I guess I will try the one by Paula's Choice eventually, but so far, amazing stuff. Next one again by The Ordinary is their Niacinamide Plus Sink Solution. Niacinamide is great for building collagen, hydrating, repairing and fighting hyperpigmentation. Zinc helps a lot with oil control and is anti-inflammatory. So again, for my oily and acne prone skin, this is perfect, especially in summer. It helps me keep my T-zone less oily. A face mist. This one is by Pixie and it's the Gross Glow Mist. You might be familiar with the original Glow Mist, which is nice, but a little too heavy for me with my oily skin. The Rose Glow Mist is similar, very hydrating, contains a few oils as emollients. The one thing that I think is very sad uh, compared to the original Glow Mist is that this one does not contain niacinamide, which I love, but I love that as a hydrating spritz or to sandwich in my hyaluronic acid with so great product. I highly recommend if your skin is more on the oily side. Again, the ordinary. This one's still in its package because it's. I have another bottle one and it's basically, to be fair, the same as this one. This one is the ordinary buffet and this one is the inkyless collagen. Both contain peptides that help with collagen production and help fight these yeah, bulldog cheeks, the sagging of the skin. There is no real proof that peptides help, but you see, I'm turning 40. This is my main area of concern. And for this price, I don't think you can go wrong. And to be fair, I, I don't have a preference. Either of them will work very well. Lightweight, non-sticky, perfect. Again, a serum. Can you tell? I love my serums. This is the Institutum Anti-Wrinkle Brightening Serum. And I've talked about this in my favorites of the year before. And usually I only include 
products that I have discovered new, but this is the reformulated version. It contains more vitamin C and it is half the price, so I think it's totally fair to include this again. This one contains 15% vitamin C, vitamin E, niacinamide and tree peptide 5. This is a very gentle vitamin C. The other ones that you get that can be very tingly or kind of irritating are not on the 20% side, but this is very effective. I'm not the biggest fan of drop a bottle, but still it's a very, very, very good product. Same brand, so I'm quickly going to throw that in there, is by Institute on the Truly Transforming Brightening Eye Cream. My holy grail eye cream of all times. I have gifted it to my mother. I love it. This is the second tub I'm on. Also reformulated, also a little less expensive than um, the year before. So if you haven't tried it yet and your eye area has lines and needs hydration and plumping, I recommend you give this one a go. Thing in with the eyes. The inhale is caffeine serum. It is supposed to be a serum under your eyes that you apply um, another eye cream on top, but if your under eyes aren't that dehydrated or that dry, you can totally get away with wearing just this one. And this is amazing and it does the trick of depuffing my eyes while hydrating them at the same time, which kind of sounds like a maximum, but it works. It is great if I can cry in the night before I apply it in the evenings, otherwise I just apply it in the mornings. Works great under makeup and contains peptides to prevent further signs of aging. Again, the Inky List. It was a great year for the Inky List. I've tried them in the last three months of 2018 and if I had to pick one favorite brand, it would be the Inky List. I have a few more um, reviews of that products coming up, but so far Great stuff, very affordable. This one is the Inky List Q10. Q10 is an antioxidant and it's kind of one of the older antioxidants that I don't see talked about much, despite the fact that there is a ton of studies seeing that it is very, very effective, much more than there is about other kind of plant extracts and all that. Not many people know that. Q10 antioxidant works great. It does contain not only Q10, but it contains humectants, emollients, peptides, a lot of great stuff, which makes this the perfect day cream for me. It's really lightweight, it sinks in easily, and it gives me my antioxidant, hydration, and peptide boost for a really affordable price. A sunscreen. The Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence, and I have to mention this because this has dethroned, at least for the winter, my favorite for many, many years is the infusion water. And this one is much more hydrating, which is why I tend to use it only in the winter. In the summer, it's a little too much for my already very well hydrated skin, but it's lightweight, it doesn't leave my face too shiny, it does add a little bit of dew, and it has an amazing combination of filters, both UV, UVA and UVB. And now it's time to move on to makeup, and I don't really have that much to show you. One foundation, which is the L'Oreal Undefectable 24 Hour Matte one. I still need to powder my T-zone, I need, still need a mattifying primer, but this works as well as my Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is what I'm wearing today because I'm filming. It's more lightweight and is, of course, drugstore price, so very affordable. My only beef is that 12 Natural Rose is the lightest shade that we in Germany get in the drugstore, and this is too dark for me in winter, and I'm already as you can see, not one of the really, really bare-skinned people. So I think I need to get the lighter shade, but I need to order that from the UK. This is the Pixie by Petra Black Lacquer Lash Primer. And the question is, isn't a lash primer really, really extra? Yes. But this one, totally worth it. If I have a mascara that does not deliver in terms of volume, and I have quite a few of them because I want really thick, voluminous lashes, I applied this one underneath and it just makes every mascara I put on top look great. It isn't the easiest to remove, but for me it's totally worth it. These are again my Pixie, these are the Endless Silky Eye Pens. I have been loving a little more of a soft eye lately where I smudge out a pencil liner and these are great for that. They stay all day after you smudge them. They are really gentle so they don't tug at my eyelids, which is very important to me because yeah, the skin on my eyelids isn't as firm as it used to be, and I have the colors Matte Mulberry, which is kind of an aubergine brown, I have Diplum, 
plum and I have a velvet violet which uh, I am honest has seen the least use and I have another one a bronzy one but I can't find it for the life of me to show you. These are great if you love your eyeliners and want to stray from the usual black line which can be kind of harsh and aging on some. And that sums up my discoveries for 2018. All things that I would recommend and don't want to be without in the year 2019. I hope you had an amazing start of the year. Welcome back to my channel. And if your New Year's resolution was to follow more great YouTube channels for mature skin, don't forget to subscribe and you're one step closer to fulfilling your goals. I am looking forward to seeing you again with another video in a very short time. Bye!